Hello, my name is Stephen Smith, quick and expert. In this two-part video series, we're going to first add a brokerage account into Quicken and connect it online. And then in the second video, we're going to troubleshoot the basis information. Let's get started. On my screen, I have an individual brokerage account. This was imported from another master file. And in that master file, I know that this brokerage account has a cost basis issue that needs to be corrected. However, before we get to that, bring this file up to date by first connecting it to Schwab online and bringing in the latest transactions and reconciling cash. As you can see, the last transaction it was October 1st, 2019. So to update or to connect, put in the credentials, hit connect, and it's going to map to the accounts that are available to that login. Now, I only need one of them because we're only going to be fixing one of them. So that's what I'm going to link. The other two options are add, which is if I were adding them to a new brokerage account, or ignore, which is what I'm going to choose. And it will not bring in this activity. So by linking it, it's going to go out to Schwab, and it's going to bring in all the transactions. Now in this instance, I can see down below, it brought in 90 eight transactions over the last 736 days, which is approximately two years. And that is typical of the amount of time that you are given. Okay, so I see a lot of matches, which is a very good thing. Like I said, this is a copy of a file. And then I see some news. So we wanna proceed with the news very, very carefully. What we don't want is to bring in a transaction that was already in there because that will mess up my cash balance. I know for a fact that October 1st, rather September 30th, the ending cash balance was 1774. So if I brought in a transaction that was dated in 2018, that wouldn't be such a good thing. However, the late transactions that are dated after October 1st, 2019, like this November 1st transaction for interest, I do want to bring in. Also notice that records as investments. I would like to do it as interest income. Let's see if there's any, some, any additional ones. Here's another interest income. And let's do a few more. such as this dividend reinvestment and this dividend reinvestment. We're accepting these transactions. And there's a whole bunch of matches. If there's a match, that's okay. We can hit match and match and match. So what I'm going to do as a shortcut is I'm just going to accept the transactions that happened after the date that I want, which is 10-1. Accepting this one from November 29th. I will have found success when my cash balance reconciles what I know to be in the brokerage account. So here is a trick after I have accepted all the transactions that gets me to where I want to be in the cash. Now, how do I know where I want to be in the cash? It's because I looked online and I saw on Schwab that the balance is $8,687.97 less the 42 cents that hasn't posted yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reconcile that this account. And I'm going to reconcile to 8687.94. And then I'm gonna mark all. Hopefully this is zero. 
What it's going to do, it's going to turn all these C's into R's. Don't need a statement. And now, even though there's 98 transactions down here left, I'm just going to accept them all. Now, even though I hit accept all, it doesn't quite accept all because there's probably some sales in here. You'll also notice that my cash balance went way up. So I got to find the transactions that did not accept, such as a removed. No, that's not going to be a cash impact. And I'm going to delete that. So the trick that I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these and I'm going to put them in cleared order. And all of these transactions up here that Quicken has duplicated, I'm going to delete because it's distorting my cash balance. And since I know all these were reconciled, I know that these were incorrect dupes. So I'm going to right click and hit delete. I wish there was a way to hold shift or hold control and delete them all at the same time. But unfortunately, there isn't. So if you don't like right click, there's edit, transaction, delete, or right click. Or if you like keyboards, you'll see that there's a shortcut, control D. So we can just hit control D, control D, control D, and it won't take too long. Okay, you'll see as we get closer to being done, my balance in the bottom right hand corner is getting closer and closer to where we need to be, which is 86, 87, 94. So what this means is that we're we're good with our cash, we're reconciled. The other way that you want to reconcile a new account is by looking at the holdings. So let's come into the holdings and there are four main columns to pay attention to. The current quote, price, shares, and market value. So when I'm linking this to a new brokerage account and I want to get that warm fuzzy feeling that everything is accurate, I'll actually log on, look at the position statement in Schwab, and compare the two. Here's a screenshot from Schwab. You'll see it's got securities. You'll see it's got the quantity price, market value, and it's even got the cash down here. I notice cash is 86, 88, 36, but 42 cents has not posted because it was just today's change. So that's why it was 42 cents difference than this number right here. So let's compare our share quantities. I'm going to move this to my second screen. And I'm going to go down and do a quick screenshot and make sure that everything is accurate. So actually, I did notice that Hovnanian has incorrect. There are not 1,200 shares. It should only be 600 shares. So I just quickly expanded this and looked at this transaction on March 29th. And then I'm going to go in here, and I see that this was an ad. And this was an erroneous ad. There was a stock split, but that's what took care of it. And I'm going to just delete this. That could have happened just now when we added the, the account uh, in Quicken. So things like that do happen with the, with the data feeds, and that's why, we're, that's why we're checking it. Okay, I spotted another one, and these were not expected. iShares uh, should have 1571, but I see 1585. So I'm going down, and this looks suspicious to me, a duplicate on July 11th. So I'm going to come over here. I've got the securities in order, and I'm going to scroll down to July 11th, 2018. And I see that there was a both a bought and a dividend reinvestment. So it looks like, again, in the feed, something happened. And this is actually very common with Quicken. Quicken wants there to be a dividend reinvestment. In this instance, Quicken is uh, in with one command adding shares and basis for a particular security. 
in this example on July 10th, it says there's a dividend and then we turn around and bought securities. They accomplish the same thing, but this is a little bit smoother. Usually we get a two transactions that come in from the bank or the brokerage, but I prefer to do one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the dividend on July 10th and delete the buy on the 11th and that will right size the number of securities that we should have. Let's bring that over and now we have our shares 1578. Well, we're not there yet because we should have 1571. Looks like the same thing happened on October 3rd. So let's go search and destroy that one. So what we have is a cash balance that we like and the security counts that we like, except for this one, the iShares Russell mid cap. When we expand that, we see that we're off by a few shares, but more importantly, our gain loss is way off. And that's what we'll cover in our next video. Thanks.